Lexington's Emergency Operations Center is activated tonight as crews continue to respond to the damage left behind by severe weather. Our Bodie Brooks has been out there catching up with several officials for what you need to know as we go into cleanup mode. Bodie? Well, Andrea, I can already tell you that the, the sprinkles have started to pick up here just in the past five minutes or so, and I imagine with more weather on the way, it's only going to get thicker and thicker. I just want to show you, we're a little bit further up the road from when we last spoke to you about 30 minutes ago. Uh, here is a tree that, that fell in the yard, thankfully didn't cause too much damage to the homes here behind me, uh, but man, it could have been so much worse. And really, everybody here in the neighborhood right before uh, a lot of the rain started following has just been sort of walking around, taking in a lot of the damage that's been uh, that you can see really all around us. It's really hard to capture the full scope of it. And many times you see something that just kind of leaves you speechless there for a second. Much further down the road, you see a lot of the work in progress that's happening now. The sound of drills and chainsaws as a lot of the repair work gets underway. And there's a lot of advice that officials want you to know as many other people start picking up the pieces following this event. I'll tell you right now, Lexington Emergency Management is in response mode. A full-scale citywide response after multiple rounds of severe weather. Lexington did suffer significant damage this morning with trees down, roads blocked, traffic signals out. When you encounter an intersection without lights, treat it as a four-way stop. If the lights are flashing, red means stop and do not proceed until clear. Yellow means to proceed with caution. Kentucky utilities began working to restore power immediately, but because more severe weather came in the afternoon, it's possible some homes have lost power twice. Obviously, we have to handle down lines first. Safety is number one. So before we can really tackle other issues, that safety issue is first. When it is safe to begin cleaning up, officials suggest you document the damage both for your insurance and for the city to understand the full impact of the storms by reporting to BeReadyLexington.com. Consider professionals for cleaning up big trees for your own safety. Be extremely cautious. They're apt to move. Um, they're under tension and it's really dangerous if you are not an experienced tree worker, um, you know, fatality or injury could occur. And the cleanup continues here behind me on Fontaine Road. The governor has issued a state of emergency, which means that the state's price gouging laws are now in effect. If you do get affected by price gouging, you're encouraged to report that to the Office of the Attorney General. And an important note there mentioned by the chief uh, to stop at the stoplights that are not on. I've seen this many times as trying to get around and survey the damage today. Many folks not taking it easy at those stoplights. So even if you are following the law, doing the right thing, treating it as a stop sign, be a little extra cautious of the traffic that's around you because it seems not everybody's quite got that message just yet. Live in Lexington, I'm Bodie Brooks. I'm going to send things back over to you.